Hey you guys, so I'm back again with another message from the door and y'all I have several messages I have to record so while I got downtime I'm going to record them all today hopefully but this particular message God want me to come and tell his children because they touched you he is going to deal with them and a lot of people think that touching means an actual physical touch no a touching can be when someone touches you with their mouth when someone lie on you when someone gossip about you a touching can be when somebody touch you with their spirit y'all a lot of guys children or some of guys children i do know we can feel when someone's spirit doesn't like us right and some people touch us with their spirit some people don't think that we know that deep down they can't stand us that deep down they hate our goods that deep down they wish ill will and hurt harm intent and intent towards us but they smile on our face they want to come and befriend us and know all of our business and be monitoring spirits but they have touched us with their spirit which is the Jezebel spirit <laughs> which is the Leviathan spirit which is a marine kingdom spirit um the spirit of Baal um they touched us with their spirit um the spirit that is not of God a spirit that like I said wants to do harm than good and a lot of people feel like they can get away in this season with touching God's children and God is saying because they touch you he is going to deal with them in the season is hour. and like I said before y'all it's not just a physical touch it's a spiritual touch a lot of God's children thank you Holy Spirit a lot of God's children have been battling a lot of warfare because they go people are going to um witches and warlocks and spiritualists to touch God's children spiritually right building demonic altars spreading lot rumors and lies about you and God says because they touch you he is going to deal with them and y'all this had happened to me the other day someone had spiritually touched me and right before oh and when they spiritually touched me I felt it right before they had called me and I pick up the phone to test the spirit by the spirit but yet they were pretending <laughs> they were pretending and sure enough I'm like okay God I know what I felt in the spirit and y'all that next day that person got sick and they didn't know where it was coming from because they touched me in the spirit in the wrong way and the way they wanted me to feel ended up going back to them because I felt it and I prayed against it y'all God is saying because they touch you he's going to deal with them and it's not going to take long y'all it's not going to take long at all you cannot come up against a child of God and think God is not going to deal with you like I said, a lot of people during this time are touching God's children and thinking that it's okay. They're touching them spiritually. They're touching them emotionally. They're touching them um, mentally, psychologically, in a negative way. Using demonic forces and demonic spirits to touch God's children. Even if their heart posture is not in the right heart posture towards you. And they touch you spiritually through jealousy and envy wishing hate upon you wishing things that happened to, will happen to you that is not of God that's not in God's plan and his will for your life God is saying that because they touch you he is going to deal with them in this season in this hour now y'all don't be surprised when you start to see some of these things happen like when the things that you feel in the spirit that someone wants to happen to you begins to happen to the very same people that want it to happen to you and these people can be very close to you probably will be very close to you but god is saying because they touch you he's going to have to deal with them in this hour and thank you holy spirit these people have been doing it for a while and enough is enough they have been doing it for a while where they feel like it's okay you know when we do something y'all and we do something and it's not right we become convicted well these people have been doing it so long that they don't have the spirit of conviction they're not they're not convicted so this is how god is going to convict them by dealing with them because they touch you
because they're used to doing this type of behavior over and over and over again. And God is tired. So because they touched you, he is going to deal with them in this season, in this hour. It's going to be people that are very, very close to you, people that are least expected. Because a lot of these people have been monitoring spirits for years, and God is about to expose. So when he exposed, take it for what it is, move accordingly. But God is saying, because they touch you, he is going to deal with them. Pray for them. Y'all, we cannot pray against God's wrath. And then ask God, do you need to pray for them? Because there's some people that I was praying for that God told me to stop praying for. He told me about Jeremiah, how he had told Jeremiah to stop praying for certain people because um, they were still trying to set him up to be killed. <laughs> so ask God what you need to do. But like I said before, you guys, because they touch you, God is going to deal with them. All right, you guys, I love you all. I pray that you have an amazing day and I will chat with you all later.